Good morning, campers. <sighs> Today, it is so nice outside, isn't it? Yeah. It is, but it's very, very windy. Like gusts of 25 miles an hour. So, we've spent probably an hour outside today so far. Um, we're gonna go to my mom's in a little bit. I think we've spent like between 20, 10 and 12 hours outside this week so far, which is amazing. That's like more hours than we, than I had in January or in February. But I think that Harrison is getting lonely. I think he's tired of playing with mom and Archer. <laughs> um, because like if we go on a walk, if he sees somebody out like driving by or <laughs> walking down the, the sidewalk, he'll wave to him and he'll be like, let's go talk to them. <laughs> or um, the other day the neighbor's grandkids were over. They were outside. So we let Harrison play with them for a little while and um, the next day we went outside and Harrison was like, where's my friends? Weren't you bud? You were looking for your friends? He's all embarrassed now. He's like, where's my friends? Yeah, exactly. Where, where, where's your friends, huh? But they, I don't know if they were over the next day or not. So I feel like he is looking for some more kids his own age, which I have friends who have kids his age, but they go to daycare or things like that. So plus we've tr we're trying to be careful still with with COVID. Um, but yeah, I feel really bad for him. So <laughs> he's getting a little extra screen time right now. And uh, like I said, we're gonna go over to my mom's later. So he always has fun playing with grandma. But I think he's bored <laughs> playing with me <laughs> and Archer. And Archer's just doing a little tummy time on the floor. Huh. Look at. Look at my kiddos. Harrison. You wanna say hi to the campers? <laughs> Don't you wanna say hi to the campers? Oh. You're like a moody teenager right now. <laughs> on their phones, looking up when you say their name and then looking back down and saying leave me alone. Kids. Kids, I tell ya. Can you pick it up, bud? Can you grab that one? Show me how you pick it up. Here, I gotta get this one, and you can help me with this one. Red can you one. carry the J? Oh, I'm the J, Mitch. Are you not gonna help me? That red one? Let me see. This red one is a 2019 Mercedes-Benz. What's this one? I'm gonna say this is Mercedes-Benz too. Nope. What's this one, one, two? Audi. Audi. What's this one, one, two? This one is a... I don't know. It's a circle tracker. What's this one? Ford Mustang. That's a Mustang. What's this car? This is a... Uh, Dodger. What's this car? How many more cars you got left in there? Lots. This is a... Some kind of center. Certain... Something Roadster. What's this car? I don't know. That's his weird car. What's this car? What's this car? This one? Yeah. Well, it's too shiny. Grandma can't read it. <sighs> okay, guys. So, I'm peddling right now. Killing two birds. I just have to say, like, 
I, I feel like a lot of people are thinking that I'm like pushing this diet on them and I'm not trying to do that. Like this is just our real life right now. And we've been like, <laughs> you keep seeing Katniss's ears I bet. Um, we've been really like honest about showing you guys like what we're doing day in and day out. Like this is what we're doing. This is part of our life right now. And I don't want it to be boring and I'm not going to give like big huge health updates in the middle of like daily vlogs. That stuff's going to be for like a Saturday. So like a special vlog. But if I'm trying to fit in like my workout routine or something and it happens to be like on a Monday, Wednesday or a, I'm sorry, on like a Sunday, Tuesday or a Thursday, which today is Thursday, then you're going to see some of that. With that being said, I'm going to completely contradict myself right now because I do have a couple things to say about my journey. Um, I want to make sure that you guys know that anything that I'm telling you, it's only my stuff. Like, I'm telling you what I'm doing, not to convince you to do what I'm doing. It's just to tell you what I'm doing. I'm not trying to push, like, anything like I do onto you guys. I'm not telling you how to lose weight. I'm not telling you what to eat how, what, how to exercise. I'm not telling you any of that stuff. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And if you feel like that's something you want to do, let me know. Do it with me. Like, let me know. That's awesome. Like, I want to know that stuff. With that being said, please, I'm, anything that I put up, like, literally, what was it, two, three hours ago? I put up a video because some of you guys aren't on TikTok. There's a noise on TikTok that's, it everybody's been using it and it basically like like the latest one Reese Witherspoon used the same sound and it went <laughs> and she said what I hear when my kids try to explain Minecraft to me so that's the noise that I hear when people keep asking me about getting weight loss surgery I just want to tell you guys like first Weight loss surgery isn't for me. It's not what I want. Who knows? Maybe it will be down the line. But that does not mean that it cannot be for you. We have some campers who are very near and dear to our hearts who have had that surgery. And they have been successful. We've also had some near and dear campers who have been unsuccessful. All I'm saying is that's what I hear because for me it seems like ever since I really, really got serious about this journey and not serious, but like really started like telling you guys about it and giving you like the ins and outs. That's like the one thing I've been hearing and I'm hearing it like once an hour. So that means once an hour, somebody who doesn't really post that much and who's probably missed a video or whatever has just come on and say, hey, have you ever thought about weight loss surgery? This, 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 and this. And it's like, man, are you guys like really missing like everything I'm posting? So just because you see me say something, in fact, let me take that further. Just because you see any person on social media say something, it doesn't mean that they're telling you that you can't do it. They're just telling you about their journey. So right now, my journey is not to do weight loss surgery. I say that for two reasons. I'm not ready to get any kind of surgery that is that invasive. Anyone who's had the surgery will tell you that. And number two, in order to be successful with that journey, you have to have behavioral modifications. I can tell you that because that's part of my job as a clinical health psychologist. Part of my job is to assess people to get bariatric surgery. I know somebody overweight is assessing other people. I get it. I've heard it before. But what I'm saying is I know how hard it is for people. And I can tell you that right now I'm in the middle of modifying my behaviors. And maybe one day, maybe that will be an option for me. Right now, it is not. And I think that with what I've been doing lately, I've been pretty darn successful. And I'm really happy with that. I'm ecstatic, actually. You're happy. I've been doing some things. I wish I could like turn this a little bit so you could see Carrie, but you can't because she is pumping. I don't know if you can hear it right now, but... I've just been, like, I haven't even been afraid to park, like, upstairs in the parking garage to go to work. I haven't been afraid to, like, 
go to the kitchen and get something when I'm at work and then go all the way back to the, my office and then go back to the kitchen again. I mean, you have to understand that the old me, the, the me two months ago, I would literally probably take a bag with me to the upstairs if if I didn't want to come back downstairs. And now sometimes I run upstairs and then I'll say, hey, what do you guys need? And they'll tell me and then I'll go downstairs and come back and get it. Like, these are the changes that I need to make in order to be successful down the line. And that's with anything. I mean, you can apply this to anything. If you want to stop smoking, if you want to, you know, stop engaging in negative self-talk, you have to stop the behaviors yourself. And that's not just about stopping them because most of the time when people stop cold turkey, they'll just find another behavior to replace that, you know? I mean, in fact, a lot of people who have anxiety pick up smoking because doing something with their hands and, and you know, kind of taking their mind off of the cigarette some, or taking their mind off the anxiety they do with a cigarette. You know, I mean, that's common knowledge. That's, that's just sometimes what happens. But for me, right now, I'm just working on changing little things about me and they are really making my life so much better. I'm I'm waking up happier. I'm not as I'm not as like thick in the morning. Like I don't feel heavy. Like I I'm feeling better about myself. And I think I think Carrie's noticing it too. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't know what to say because I don't want to really throw you under the bus. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like so I have noticed some things, you know, like today, you came downstairs at my parents' house, and normally... I came to your parents' house. That should be the first thing, actually. No, you come uh, right On a weekday? You were more than willing to come to my parents, which is weird, but... <laughs> you might want to fix that, because your mom watches these. No, I mean, like, normally she's like, well, is the front door going to be open for me? Because it's easier for me to come in that way, and... It never is. It never, it never is, but you didn't even say anything about it. You walked into the house without like grabbing onto my arm, which you normally need to do. Can you explain to them your mom's step though okay, coming in, in from the, the garage, garage? In the garage there's a very high step. There's like a very low step and then there's a very high step. It's not an even stairway. I think it's done like that so they can have more room to park the cars maybe. I think so. So the stairs aren't out mm -hmm. so far, but I mean this is a really yes. big like, and I'm short anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, she always needs to, like, grab my arm to come in. Especially leaving, you need to grab my arm oh, to, like, yeah. get out. And then, um, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> and then, um, like, my parents have a tri-level. So, there's stairs going upstairs and downstairs. And Tiffany always stays, like, on the main level because she doesn't want to go downstairs <laughs> to go back upstairs. But today she came downstairs without anybody asking her to. And it was just, it was really nice to see that. You know, I can see her hard work is paying off. So. You know, and again, it doesn't really have to, like I know a lot of people are probably going to be, I, I think there's, I think I'm worried now mm -hmm. that so many people think this is turning into a weight loss channel. And I'm really just trying to, like, it's a, it's a fad kind of, like anything. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm not always going to be talking about this like I, <sighs> why do I get so tongue-tied when I have I so know, many thoughts like coming in my head that's exactly what I said the other day though you know like our channel started off trying to do challenges and like funny videos yeah. to grab attention and then we moved into like the serious you know TTC videos we just realized that if we're gonna do this we're gonna vlog and, and vlogging is this is our daily life and this is what our life this is, is about what our, yeah this is what our life is about right now, changing our, our habits and... So, I mean, other than today, the plan is to have regular vlogs. And then, like, on, on like, a, like, Saturdays, that would be, like, more of a time where I would give you, like, a, a serious, like, weight loss, like, update. You know, like, this is what I've been doing and this is what I plan to do, like, moving forward. Right. You know, but, again, I already said I was contradicting myself in this vlog, like, right when I started. Because there's too many things to address today to wait until tomorrow to address. I wouldn't have been able to even vlog. Right. You know, without talking about it. But anyway, the stuff that you were saying, 
I can't explain like how I feel. I mean, I feel less cloudy. I feel less thick. Mm -hmm. But I'm also more confident because of how I, I can push see that. myself. I was just going to say, like, you, I can see in your face that you're less scared to yeah. do things. You're more confident, like you said. Like, I mean, imagine you're, like, we just did this this morning. Mm -hmm. So we haven't even talked about this stuff. And, and so my leg, left leg, was so big that it was... Before we started, the first day we didn't even measure it. No, we but didn't. judging by the socks I had on, it was probably like 27 inches around. Mm -hmm. Carrie measured it after a week, and it went down to 24 and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and then this new week, it was down to right at like 20 it'd be safe to say 24 but a yeah. little under yeah 24 and we measured it because you got the pillow to see if we there was like any change with, because of the pillow yeah because the incline pillow which mm -hmm. is amazing by the way i'm seeing really big changes with that <laughs> um it's uncomfortable to like set up myself but holy All right smokes. i see your legs in the morning i'm like wow you know it's, yeah it's a drastic change but at night she's like ah I hate this pillow. <laughs> but, but it's working. And it is, and you'll it's get used worth to it. it. You'll get used to it. Right, it's it's like literally worth it. But the thing is, imagine <sighs> all the people. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry and you're gonna sing and it's gonna make me think of the boys. Um just imagine being like so scared that when I go to your parents' house mm -hmm. that I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. Right. And they live in a tri-level home, and the one bathroom is really tiny, mm -hmm. and it's not for big folk. Right. So if, if I had to go number two, it'd be hell. I don't even know how I could maneuver in that bathroom. So if we went to your parents' house, it was like I had to go to the bathroom before, and I had to leave Like if I had to go to the bathroom because right. I was that scared of going up the stairs mm -hmm. because I thought I would be out of breath. Rightly so, though, with all that water weight that I had. Yeah. With all that excess water. Do you feel like part of you being able to go up and down the stairs easier is because your legs are less heavy? I do, yes. Yeah. Like, I can't believe how much easier it is to, like, lift my legs. And, mm -hmm. like, I have this thing at my desk at work that's... I, actually, no one knows what it is. It looks like a safe. I have no idea what the hell it is. But it's just there. And I can lift... I can just sit there and lift my leg up. Before, oh, like, I would have to, like, swing my leg. You would. You would. You know, mm -hmm. like, if I wanted to sit on the couch, like, I would swing my leg up and around. Mm -hmm. Or I would grab my pants and, like, pick my leg up. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how, like, out of sync with my body I was. Yeah. And just these changes over the last month have literally changed my life. And it's, like, been a 180. Like, I don't even know if I can change that much again. Like, it's just been a huge change. And it really has been. I've, yeah. I've noticed it. I've noticed yeah, it. so again, I don't have like a list of everything, but when I wake up in the morning, I'm no longer nervous about going to work and having to park like so far away. Like, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be like super honest right now. Like, we're wearing the same damn color shirt almost. I was wearing blue first. <sighs> You no, you up. weren't because I got dressed this morning and that shirt was turquoise. Boom. Turquoise and blue are not the same color. It's the same family. And also, your shirt is inside out. It is. I didn't change it because it's still in my bra on. That's just the laziness of me. Like, I really honestly thought to myself that if I sprained my ankle... It would be so cool because I would be able to get one of those carts and I wouldn't have to walk around the hospital. Like, I didn't think about deliberately spraining my ankle. Like, I didn't think to go and fall and say, oh, I gotta fall and, like, hurt myself. Because as a bigger girl, spraining your ankle is, like, the worst thing I think you can do. Because, man, talk about your dignity. <laughs> I mean, like... But here's me thinking, oh... I work at a hospital. If I sprain my ankle, there is no way that I'm going to be able to get around in a timely manner. I'm going to have to get a motorized cart. So I thought to myself, oh, well, if I fall, it'll be cool. Like, I wasn't even scared of falling anymore. I almost wanted to fall. Imagine having that mindset. That's why 
bariatric surgery would not work for me. I would always be looking for the shortcut. I'd be like those guys who are on um, the uh, weight loss. I'm glad that you can admit that. Right, but, but like... you always look for the shortcut. Remember that guy on the... I can't remember. It was with the girl who gave him the coffee stimulants who, wa who wants to be a less overweight person. I don't know the name of the show. Please help me. Weight loss show. Biggest Go. loser? Yes, probably. Okay. They have three different coaches. Is that it? The biggest loser? Yeah, sometimes there's two. It depends on the season. All I remember is there was a guy there who was eating chips at night. He would go into the cabinet and eat chips. Uh -huh. And somebody told on him, and they were mad at him that he was doing that. And he said, why? I'm doing the work tomorrow. I'm doing the extra work to burn off the calories that I ate. Like, mm -hmm. why are you getting so mad at me? Why are you getting... That's, that's my thinking. The chips? Yeah, guy? like, my thinking is the chips guy. Like, that my old thinking mm -hmm. is that, oh, if I have soda or something, I can just work it off. How many calories is this? Oh, I got to pedal double to work off what I did plus, you know, what I was already going to pedal. Yeah, that's like, a bad, bad mindset to have. Right, so this is the mindset that I had. Now, I don't have that. Like, I can't believe that I can park my car and walk all the way to work. Like, I can... Get out of the car, walk over here, walk to the stairs, go down both flights, and walk to the door. I'm gonna door. put you on the spot right now. When you had to go to your alternate location yesterday, did you park valet? No. Proud of you. God, I wanted to though. The whole way there, <laughs> I was gonna park valet. The whole way. The whole uh -huh. way, I knew it. I was gonna pull up there. And I did, I pulled up there. Uh huh. And I waited a second, and I looked, and I was like, I can do this. And mm. I went and parked the car. That makes me really happy. And I've got tears, folks. I'm proud of you. Oh, why? Because that makes me really happy. Because at the beginning of this job, she said, I'm going to budget to Park Valley every day. <laughs> and you didn't. Because Valley is not free at my hospital. Most right. hospitals, it's free. But I think if it's free, you actually can't park there as an employee. Hmm. And I'm sure they probably frown upon it too. Right. So I probably shouldn't do that anyway. Yeah. But uh yeah, I I wasn't scared to do it. Because you park and there's like an incline. Mm -hmm. It's like why do hospitals do that? Every hospital we go to, Covenant was the same way. The one in over on Mackinac Street, same way. You park, you have to walk up a hill to get to the hospital. It's not a hill, but it's an incline. And to a bigger person, it might as well be a mountain. Yeah. 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 This is really personal stuff that I'm sharing with you guys. And I know that the camera angle hasn't changed. And that's something that we haven't wanted to do for a long time. But this vlog, you know what? This vlog is really for me. And I don't know if I'm going to delete it or if I'm going to put it privately. But this vlog's for me. Because this is the vlog that I'm going to watch. Because this is a vlog that I've been the happiest to make in so long. Because I'm actually really proud of myself. You should be. You're doing really good. Yeah. I mean, I remember when I worked at the... Um, I think I had talked about this before, and if I didn't, oh well. But I remember when I worked at the VA. Mm -hmm. And uh, the VAs are big, and they do so many amazing things for the veterans. And there's like a walkway. And along this walkway, because we have to park way out in the back, mm -hmm. there are all these like stools, not stools, all these... Um, Benches? What benches? What am I? What's wrong with me? There are all these benches, uh -huh. and I literally, when I first started working there, I would sit like every three benches, and it wasn't really that I was exhausted; it was that I was afraid I was going to be exhausted. So my anxiety would like skyrocket. Uh -huh. It would literally skyrocket, and I'd have to walk so slowly, you know. And I feel like if I were there right now and I parked. I'd probably be able to park and like walk all the way in. You probably would. And there was an incline there too, by the way. <laughs> what is with hospitals and inclines? Man, I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna drive to a bunch of hospitals and see if they have. Them. Tell me your, if your hospital has an incline or not. I need to know. It does. I there's mean, are you just are you saying like an incline, like to go from like here to here? Yeah, there's like an incline. Or like, like, are you talking like a really big hill? Well, because you'd have to have wheelchair access. It it's an incline. Okay. And we do have plenty of wheelchair access, but uh -huh. it's 
when you're bigger, you notice an incline. Mm -hmm. Like, it is not a flat piece of land. Right. Like, you are literally walking up. Because you know how you know when you're bigger and you're walking down? Mm -hmm. You're walking a little faster. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's true. It I'm not making fun of myself. I'm literally just stating fact. No, you're right. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, this is... This is it. Like, this is... I don't have many more chances. And that diabetes scare like looked me in the eye and said hey here I am I'm ready to move the F in so I gotta move now you're doing, a good job. you're doing a good job coaching and you guys are doing a great job like every single person support, yeah. like even the people who aren't so great you motivate me to do better so I can shove it in your faces <laughs> sorry you're being honest it's true <laughs> It's true. Yeah. I really am. I, I'm being honest. In fact, you know what? I think I'm just going to be honest forever. Like, I don't want to okay. hold myself back anymore. I'm tired of it. Okay. Like, I've apologized enough. I've told people enough that I'm not trying. I've even apologized like 10 times in this vlog already. Like, being so careful by telling people. And I do that because I want to be inclusive. But I'm also just repeating myself like over and over again. It's not my fault that people don't watch every vlog. It's not my fault that they don't understand. And man, if people really think that we're the horrible, diabolical people after this long, that's not my problem anymore. It's been four years. We have not changed. If people think we're horrible people, then why are they still watching us? <laughs> I don't know. You get my point, though. You know, Howard Stern, people watched him even though they hated him. He's a weirdo. They're weird geniuses. Well, anyway, guys, this has clearly been um, more of a rambling than we expected. Yeah, uh, this has been going for 15 minutes, and it's going to turn <laughs> off in a minute and a half. So this is where we quickly say goodbye. Yes. The rest of the family has been doing great. Not sure what's going to happen this weekend. Um, we'll have to see. I, I can't even, I can't plan on anything. No clue if there's going to be a live. Um, I have no clue. So I will try to keep you updated as I can. But be sure to uh, follow along on all of our socials if you want some updates. And please keep the recipes coming on whatever platform you're on because you guys are helping out more than you know. You are. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity.